Hey guys, Eric Roberts uh, from Worship Band Builder, Worship the King. Welcome to the video where I'm going to talk about beginners and what pick to use. So I have this jar on my desk. My son always empties out and I had a question today. If you don't know this, uh, you can ask me any question through the website on Drift. You just go there, it pops up and on my face says, hey, and if I'm on my phone or wherever I can see you, I can send you files. I can help you log into your account. I can just talk to you about your strumming. And that's what I was doing with Dan today. Um, and I have some picks, the, the ones that I use. And I'm gonna show you which ones to use. Then at the end, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the flip technique and how to get that down and how to hold the pick better. So, I, you know what, now I can't find my favorite pick ever. I probably lost it. But anyway, this is the pick that I use for most things. It's, it, it's a green Tortex pick. Okay, this one says hex, but this is the best pick out there. This is yellow, but there is there was a green one on my desk earlier. So let me just dump this out and see. Okay, so the green pick is gone, but uh, it's basically missing an action now. This is the Dunlop. See this little dude, this light here. Here, so I you know I don't know because I had this microphone and I was getting this buzzing. If this video is buzzing, I'm going to jump out my window after this video. So if it's if it's not buzzing, then we're all good. So I deleted the last video so I could show you this video um, and show you that the 70, 73 or 75 millimeters, anywhere from 75 millimeters to 1.0, 1.0 millimeters, this is 1.5, but in, this is really thick, see? It's like a quarter almost. Um, and then this is what I use on electric, which is 2.0, it's really, really thick. But I've really been gravitating towards, I always use a thicker pick. My problem that I needed to explain to you is if you have a super paper thin pick, then you can grab onto it really hard and just strum, and the pick will flex in the strings. And so it feels like it's easier, but, but it's not necessarily teaching you good technique because later when you get a thicker pick or you want to, you want to get a better thicker pick. So let's, let's say the yellow pick. This pick is 75 millimeter. It's gonna dig into the string a little more so you can get a little better sound than if you're just using a really thin, flimsy pick. That's the purpose of what I was saying in the other video. Really thin, flimsy picks are not as good, okay? They're not, I don't like them as well. So, 75 millimeter is my favorite to 80. 88 millimeter is actually the one I was talking to Dan about, the one that I used, 88 millimeter. And this is the pick that I used in my first rock and roll concert in the eighth grade dance this pick right this exact pick this exact pick and then this exact pick is purple pick from Dunlop that I used in my second rock concert and I have carried this around for over um, 20 those would be like 25 years 25 plus years because I was in the eighth grade back then so those picks I still use these will never, that gives proof to what I said in the earlier video. These picks never break. These never break. This is 20, over 25 years old and this material is still, I could play with it today and it probably would not break. So the fender picks that are made out of that tor tortoise, tortoise shell stuff, that plasticky kind of stuff, they break all the time and you can bend them in half. So this stuff though, this the, the Tortex, the Dunlop, any of these Dunlop or the Dunlop Tortex picks or the one with the little turtle shell, um, the green ones are super, super good, all right? So Dan was asking um, how to do the flip technique. And here's, here's what I'm gonna show you. I'm showing this up close. I show this in a lot of my courses. So if you don't have the courses or if you're just here, when you strum down on the guitar, you wanna you want be holding just a little bit of the pick out, just tiny little bit. So I don't have floppy pick that much hanging out. I have, when I play, I just happen to have my guitar here. When I play, I have that much pick hanging out. I mean, it's really not even hanging out. It's just a little tiny. I can feel the strings on my thumb and I can sort of do, so when I'm doing a flip, then I'm just barely, I have that much hanging out. So when the string strums down, the pick moves a little bit in my hand. See, it'll move like that. I let it move, but I don't let it go. Okay, so that's kind of the key. So when you strum down on the strings, you know, the strings are going there. You let the pick move that way. When you strum up, you let it move that way. You see, you let the pick move in your hand and you're just holding that little tiny bit out. So I'm gonna move this down here like this so you can see 
a little more strummy, strummy, strummy. Okay, so you can do, when he was saying, well, what do I do when I do the flip on a G? It's just that much picking out, picking out right there, that much. So one, two. So it's just a little bit. So I, I use selective strumming too in this because he was asking me, um, when you flip, do you flip all of the strings? No, you don't flip all the strings. You just flip the top two, like on a G, two, three. I just, just on that top. Okay, and just let it be. Just a little tiny pick hanging out. just want a little pick and a little flip and you want to practice on holding the pick in a way that when you strum down it moves and when you strum up it moves it is actually moving like that when you're on the string so you can go like this it's moving it's moving it's moving and you're holding it now I just realized that I was in my garage the other day cleaning out because all of my studio stuff got moved from Ohio to here and then it was like it's stuck in my it's just I'm overloading, flowing with like gear. And I, so I, I've got a, a, another place to put my gear now. So I was going through it and I found this uh, thing that I made last year that I thought this would be amazing because you can actually clip it to your guitar and it's like a slow-mo camera view angle. So I'm gonna do that in the next week or so on the YouTube channel and here so you can see exactly looking straight down my neck onto my strumming so, and if I can do slow-mo, would be even better. Because then you could see the picks. What I'm talking to about that thing that I feel and that I do, you need to be able to do that. If you're holding the pick and it's just going straight into the strings and then you're not moving at all and you're just strumming up and down, the pick is just gonna dig into the strings and it's gonna sound terrible. So, do you guys hear any buzzing? Let's see, do you guys hear any buzzing? Or does this sound like good audio? Because the last video I did buzzed and I deleted it. So what do you think? Anybody commenting? Or hopefully you're not driving your cars home from the office or something. Hopefully you're like on your computer. Anyway, so use the right pick and use the right technique. If you use the, flat, the, the really thin picks, then I fear that later you won't have as good technique. And also, that I don't like the thin picks because the tone that they give. They give a really thin, flippy tone. So if you have any questions, like I mentioned in the first part of this video, you can always go to the website, worshipbandbuilder or worshipthekeng.com, either one. My face will pop up at the bottom right-hand corner, and you can type a message. Make sure you leave your email in there, some way to get back, or you can just comment on these videos uh, because now... We are days away from having the, the, the podcast studio set up, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reveal tomorrow what goes up right there, right, no, right there, right there. I'm going to reveal what goes up right there in that little circle. It's going to be amazing, and then Emily and I are going to start the podcast in about a week or two. It is taking me a lot longer than I thought, which is pretty much the story of my life. I'm like, I'm going to do this in a week, and then like a month later, I'm still doing it. So... Um, my wife says I'm too optimistic and my timetables, but whatever. Uh, I probably am. I try to do all this stuff. and But we are like just moments away from releasing our podcast, which is going to be right here. It's going to be amazing. And we kind of switched the studio around. So maybe I'll give you a studio tour. As soon as I have one more piece coming, one more piece, I'll give you a studio tour on the Facebook Live. Um, and I'll upload it to my vlogs. But these, these picks... You can do anything with these picks. Just don't pick one that's too thin. Don't pick one that's too thick. 75 millimeter to one millimeter. Dunlop Tortex, that's the green or the yellow I like. Anything made from the fender line that's that really weird tortoise shell looking stuff is gonna break and is just, I don't like it. Even though that's like every pick in the world is that. I think that um, anything that's made out of this cool material, I'll put some links in the description maybe to my Amazon. Anything that's made like out of this this yellow material that's more like awesome or green, um, buy that and use that. If you have any questions, go to my 
website and just click in and answer the question. If this video is not fuzzy and fuzzy, so I've got this new cool setup and I can like move you guys around, whoa, whoa, I can move it all around and I can do it right from my, I can go live any moment, give you guys the what is on the what is. All right.